Before you go rushing out to shoot your own 3D movie, you'd best wrap your head around the concept of stereoscopic vision. Because 3D movies employ a lot of highly technical stuff just to achieve what our eyes do naturally. 3D vision occurs because both of our eyes share pretty much the same field of vision. Horses, for instance, with eyes on the sides of their heads, see almost completely different things out of each eye, resulting in very limited depth perception. Whereas we see the same visual information twice, from slightly different perspectives. Our brain, using a process known as stereopsis, stereopsis, then combines the two images into one, and voila, depth perception is born. For the IMAX guys, replicating the process involves shooting with two lenses, recording two different perspectives on two rolls of film. When it comes to showing the movie, the projector uses polarized filters on the lenses to beam two slightly different images onto the same screen. Polarized glasses ensure viewers receive one image in each eye. The brain does the rest, combining the two images into one stereoscopic picture, despite the fact the screen and the images are actually flat. It's a textbook case of movie magic. And it's tricky to do, requiring exact calibration. Get it wrong by a fraction of an inch, and all you'll do is give the audience an IMAX-sized headache. Do it right, and you've got one of the most impressive and immersive technologies on offer. Throw in state-of-the-art computer graphics and a few dozen thundering reptiles, and you've got dinosaurs, giants of Patagonia. The perfect recipe for folks who like their prehistory big, bold, up close, and personal.